It's me, once again. We're gonna be looking at building to our phone. What, Michael, is that the third time you do this? Yes, this is the third time I do this, but it changed once more. It's a little bit easier again. Um, this is what we'll be doing, so. Here. This is my phone. This is our game from yesterday. Isn't that cool? And we'll do it for Android as fast as we can without installing Android Studio and without using command lines. So it's, it became very, very simple basically, but there's still a, a step to go through. So I'm going to take you through that very, very quickly. And yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing we'll be doing is make sure that we have the proper package name. To open this, let's go over to File, Build Settings, click on Player Settings. Make sure you're under Android, by the way. So make sure you click on Android, um, switch that platform if you haven't, go under Play Settings, and on the right-hand side over here, under Other Settings, you'll want to be setting a package name. It's always something like com dot your package name, so our new brand, and then the project name, I'm just going to call this Monk March. The next thing I'll do is I'll make sure to give it a scene, so when we build this thing on our phone, it starts the Start menu in this case. Okay, so let's hit build and run, see what kind of problem we face. We're going to create a new APK. Yep, let's call this one build, why not? And then it's gonna ask me for, it's gonna ask me for a couple of things. So set your package name, come your company name and your product name. Okay, so we have that down here. Actually, for some reason it did not save. Okay, let's do that again. Let's hit build and run, same thing. And now they ask me for a Android SDK. So that's the very first thing that uh, we face as a problem. So how do we fix this? Well, we're gonna go get ourselves the Android SDK. So I invite you to go over to google.com and type in Android Studio. It's going to bring you to this page over here where they ask you if you want to download Android Studio. Um, in our case, we really don't. We wanna go, well, we don't want idea IDAs about 1.5 gigs and it's gonna take a while to download. Um, we don't need that. What we need instead, is just the tools. So you can go at the very bottom right here where it says command line tools only. And uh, I'm on Windows, so I'll be grabbing this first package over here. I, of course, accept. And we're gonna wait a little bit and we're gonna have our files. Once this is completed, you should have the tools. You can extract that right inside of the same folder, why not? Once everything is extracted, you should now have this folder right here, SDK tool Windows or Linux, whatever. Um, grab this folder and I'm going to cut it and put it somewhere a little bit more easy for me to access. So under my local disk, right here, I'm going to create myself a new folder, call it Android. Oops. And I'll paste my new tool folder right in here. And inside of that, you'll be able to find the tools that we need. However, they're not up to date and we need to change that. We need to make sure they are up to date. So I'm back in Unity. I tried saving once again. Actually, I tried building once again, and they asked me for the Android SDK folder, which we, we now have that. It's under my C drive right now. It's right here. Let's make sure we set that, and then they're gonna ask you, hey, um, you kinda need to update because this SDK has basically nothing in it. So yeah, let's just do update Android SDK. Then they might ask for further updates, so let's go ahead and accept that as well. Ah, and then we finally reached that point where it says, hey, I mean, we have the Android SDK, they're well updated, but we couldn't find any device and that's where you need to step in as a human being and actually start changing that. So you need to plug in your device with a wire like this. That's amazing. So you'll need to do something else before that because just plugging in your device is not going to work. Let me show you something real quick. Okay, this is gonna be awful, but let's do it quickly. So you're gonna have to pull down your status bar. You're gonna have to go under settings. Here my setting is. Um, go all the way down to About Phone, and then of course click on About Phone, scroll all the way to the bottom where it says Build Number, and tap on Build Number a couple of times. A lot. Until it says, hey, you're now a developer. So once you are a developer, you should be able to find Developer Option in this menu here, so the menu that we had previously. However, I can't find it myself, so I go at the very top here, type in Dev, and here it is, so I'll use this one instead. All right, so once we're inside of here, we're gonna go all the way down to USB debugging. Make sure this is enabled. You'll need this for um, building to your phone. Now, I just wanna put that out there. Once you're done with USB debugging, in case you're at your workplace, in case you let your phone lay around like a couple of developers, uh, like I once did, just make sure you turn off USB debugging. Why? Uh, because just having like a USB cable and your phone, people can basically get into it and, and 
you could say hack into it. Uh, if you don't trust people around you so much, you can do that and turn off your USB debugging. So once USB debugging is on, you're going to be taking your wire hooked into your computer and you're going to be plugging it right here. Wow, this is how you plug in a phone. This is going to show up if you tried building on Unity. So this is not going to show up unless you have this screen on Unity. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to enable USB debugging. You're, you're going to say always allow from this computer. Hit OK. And then next time you build on Unity, you are going to have everything that works. Now, if you didn't get this prompt, just connect it. Make sure you build again. It's going to give you an error in Unity once more, but uh, the prompt will show up. So. so we're ready to start a build this time. Everything is hooked in. My phone is right here in my hand, hooked into the computer. It says that I should go to sleep because it's 10 p.m. And what is this? So we got, we got a problem. What is this problem? All right, so this has nothing to do with you guys. I just tried out like a small script earlier and for some reason it crashed my whole thing. Okay, let's build and run once more without that script in my, in my project. So once again, 10 p.m., I need to go sleep. Here you go, it says packaging assets. So that means it is on the phone right now. It made it all the way to the phone. Now it's just a matter of time before we play this thing on our phone. And I want to tell you guys, I have not installed a GDK this time. Why? Because Unity has its own GDK, which makes things so much easier because <laughs> you had to install the right GDK before that. If you were to install GDK 9, it wouldn't work. You had to go and, and downgrade all the way to GDK 8. But now they have their integrated GDK. So we don't have this problem anymore. We just have to install Android SDK. Um, yeah, that's very nice. And my computer just stopped making noise, which means we're about to get it. What is this? So open GDK platform library. It is from Unity. Yeah, sure. I'm going to allow that. I don't mind. Allow access. Seems legit. Oh, and I just got a recommendation on LinkedIn. So thank you so much whoever did that. Um, are we almost done? Yeah, it's building task, Gradle project. Oh, we done. Let's see. This is my phone. Okay, I have to open it apparently. Let me do my code. Here it is, that's a Unity project, boys, with our menu and our shop. And everything is a lot smoother than I thought it would be. And for whoever didn't believe me that when I press on quit, it actually quits. Oh no, crap. Okay, we have landscape as well, but if I press on quit. Oh crap. But yeah, it quit. Right. So guys, that is how we built once more to our phone. This is the third time, but this is definitely the easiest time. Why? Because we have the integrated SDK. No, sorry, the integrated GDK. Um, from Unity themselves, so this makes things so much easier, and I'm so proud that they've done that. I'm so proud of this community. But I am done memeing. Now make sure you have this set up because tomorrow we're going to be looking at Android Remote and we'll need to have the same driver installed. We need to have the same Android um, SDK installed, so yeah, we're going to be meddling a little bit with the phone. Hopefully I can find a better way to record, but uh, we'll find that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Patreon, Discord, Facebook, subscribe like, share, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.